Hey guys, it's Leosora. And my life? It's kinda crazy. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's go! In this video, I'll be spending an absurd amount of money on my looks. I will be doing everything that the celebrities do to their bodies to mine. From spraying carbon dioxide into my eyes to the famous Kardashian vampire treatment, I'm trying all these things so you don't have to. These are the celebrity treatments that I will be trying out. We're gonna get a sneak peek into the lives of the celebrities and what they do to keep up their looks to the level that they are at. So in this video, we're gonna see if all the time and money that they spend on their looks is worth it. Do I already look better? <laughs> My hair is like to here, okay. but it's mine because I bought it, so it's mine. I came up with this idea as I was at the hair salon, so I started recording a bit of the process. I had a new idea for hair color, which was this layer thing that you're seeing. Uh, I'm super stoked about this. You're gonna be seeing more of the hair, but this is what it looks like. I added a lot of extensions. This ended up costing me 10,000 kronas, which is this in dollars. So basically me with the white hair is my before picture. I just did not record that, which I'm, I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to do this as a before. As we go along, I'm gonna pick more treatments. But right now, what we're gonna do is laser treatment removal of my little thing that I have on, on top of my lip. So we're on our way to laser off this little goddamn dot. This is what it looks like, close up with a good lens, but I'm on my way to this clinic that's gonna laser it off. I'm excited to see if it's gonna be spotless. So the reason I wanna get it off is because I can't overline my lip and I don't really know what it is. So let's just get it away from it. This is the only thing that I really want to do out of all the procedures. So I guess this is the most intensive one of them all. Come, come along. So this is one of the only treatments we're gonna do that I don't have a specific celebrity I can show you proof of that they're doing this. We've removed the makeup and uh, I'm gonna get some local anesthesia and then we're gonna remove the dot. I am scared. I'm gonna spare you with the anesthesia. Hurt like a mother, but it was all right, it was quick. Yeah, it feels like I did filler. It's like really numb. Oh my God. Because I was gonna do this treatment, no matter what, I wanted to bring you guys on with this. And I think we can all agree, I think every single celebrity who has an imperfection they don't wanna deal with, they'll just have it removed or fixed. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna burn that little bitch out. So I have this little vacuum thing that's gonna suck in all the burnt flesh. Oh my god, even saying that out loud. Since I was under anesthesia uh, on the lip, I couldn't feel a thing. I'm literally smelling my own burnt flesh. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd solve the problem by breathing through my mouth instead of my nose, but I instead just started tasting it. Yeah, oh my god. Like, I feel like it looks like I have a little lip filler. I've had this stop my whole life and it used to be like a little birthmark on it, but I scratched it off, convinced myself it was some kind of wart, but now I asked her and apparently it's a skin change. It's just called a skin change. Like from afar, there's like nothing there. It doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I can see like, but it's gonna just heal up and there won't be anything there. Fresh air. No more human flesh. Scents. <laughs> It feels so weird. My lip is so fat. I can't talk. I feel like I can't talk. I can't talk though. Two days later. So second day of recovery from my little dot procedure. Final thoughts. It didn't hurt. We'll see through this week and weeks how this is going to turn out and how good it's going to look. Be careful because I, I nicked myself the other day. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. There you go. Okay, so what is one thing that all the celebrities do and have? Nutritionists, chefs as well. I can't just be eating common peasant food not knowing what I'm doing, obviously. I'm a celebrity now. Everything that I do is done to the max and the, the best. So next up is my diet. So the one I got is for eight weeks for the entire meal plan to be laid out for me. So I'll be having my breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. This is for me to get everything that I possibly need to feel the best and have everything that I need to eat in me. 
I'd love to show you the full meal plan, but I can't do it because it's in Swedish and you guys won't understand what's been written. I picked out some things I didn't like and then some things I like, and then we have this based on that. This is the meals that I will be eating on camera just to show you guys. Through this week, whatever time this takes, I'm gonna be sticking to this food schedule. So for breakfast, we have oatmeal with Greek yogurt, low fat vanilla tasting, and then we have a berries on top of that. For snack, I'm gonna have a smoothie. These are the ingredients because I don't remember them. This is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Oh, and the, it, the cod is perfectly cooked. I kind of like it though. Love the mash with the broccoli. Broccoli. Next up is my other snack, and I'm sorry for this looking so bad, but it's five walnuts, one boiled egg, and one orange. And for dinner, I'm gonna have something called korvstroganov, like a chicken sausage that I'm gonna put with some tomato sauce and rice. Looks a little weird for someone who's not used to this, but it's very common in Sweden to eat this, and I love it. This rounded me up to $250 for a nutritionist, and uh, let's see how this week goes. Kim Kardashian and her cringeworthy, bloody vampire facial. So next up, we're gonna do the vampire treatment. I have my diet food in the oven, ready to eat it. So you might wonder what that is. This is a treatment made famous by Kim Kardashian and she coined the term vampire treatment because you are literally covered in blood once you're done with this. This is how Kim looks when she does it. So what I should be expecting from my skin is for it to become brighter, firmer, and like glowier. While we do this microneedling, the same place offers carboxy treatment, which I've gone through before for cellulite. We're gonna do it on my under eyes. It hurts like hell on the legs. <laughs> Might make me look like this picture. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What they do is inject carbon dioxide oxygen in here with small needles, so it's gonna swell up. It will improve the circulation here. So apparently what causes most dark circles is bad circulation. So we're gonna solve that problem. So in the middle of recording this video, we had storm chaos here in Stockholm, but here I am. Am I excited? No, but I am nervous, but I'm ready to be gorgeous like the stars in the moon. I'm slightly nervous to do two rounds of different treatments at once, hoping it will be fine. You are not ready for what you are about to see. <laughs> I feel it coming down my eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's done. Oh my god. It feels like I have a bruise. You don't. Mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> oh my god, I can't open it fully. You just close it again. I could feel it spreading under my eye and I could feel my eye swelling up. I was expecting a lot of pain, but there wasn't really much. It was just really uncomfortable feeling it fill up under your eyes. I'm just gonna leave this in because I feel like it's so fascinating to see this happen. I was so scared after I watched this. I just can't see very well. <laughs> Rosanna, <that> stop. <laughs> I had no idea it looked like this when I was getting it. We're waiting to do the microneedling, but right now I can't feel it. It doesn't feel it. I think it's going down. I think the bags are actually gone. Oh. It's not funny. You almost, it looks like... <laughs> it's now supposed to ger generate. <laughs> Gen generate <laughs> oxygen. Yeah, so it's not gonna look anything now, but like in a couple of days. So next up is the vampire treatment. Kommer jag se galen ut efter det här? Nej, det kommer Nej. inte göra. Du kommer att se en brist på bättre ord. Lite nytränad ut. Lite ja, rosig. Okej, okej. Åh, vad? Förlåt att jag håller på. Okej, okay, we're about to begin the derma pen or the microneedling or the vampire treatment as we've called it. I was supposed to get the vampire treatment and to all our understanding here, vampire treatment was the same thing as microneedling. Turns out we were wrong. Instead, I just got a whole bunch of needles injected into my face without there being any blood in the needles. The tattoo is 10, then what is this? Tattoo for me is a 10 because it hurts like shit, so this would be a 5. Microneedling though is something that a lot of celebrity gets. It helps rejuvenate the skin by increasing its circulation and I didn't have to draw any blood. Okay, it wasn't at all as bad as I thought. Mm. Do I already look better? <laughs> 
a little disappointed I didn't get to do what was on the picture, but I feel like the eyes were enough for me today. <laughs> Would you do this every month like Kim K? I don't know, man. I feel like it's too much time. Yes. Am I red? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh no. It already looks good. I think it doesn't look too bad. You know what it looks like? I've been in the sun. It yeah. looks like I've been in the sun and then I'm a little tired. Yeah. It is day two, but my eyes are still puffy. I have to go look in the mirror for two days. Okay, mirror time. I mean, even, maybe it's more clear to me than it is to somebody else, but I am puffed AF under my eyes. The bags, these bags, like I didn't really know I had them. The swelling was supposed to go down after an hour from the treatment, but now it's been a full day and a day and a half. Two so full two, days. two full days since I did it. I don't know time. I don't know which day it is today. But uh, we're gonna have to call them and see what's going on because I'm gonna go next week and do the next treatment of this because there's a total of six. So I don't wanna go and be puffy again if this isn't supposed to be happening. Here we go. Hey, hey. Hey! 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 Okay. Okay. Hey! Hey! That was the same girl that did the treatment. She says it's fine. So okay. We're hoping for it to be fine. Hard to tell the results. She did say that you had to redo the treatment six times until you see results. So it's gonna be hard to give like an honest review of the the effect. Let's do this after shot in a couple of days. Hi, I'm Megan Fox and I am loving these end sculpt treatments for real. Okay, I am late, but we're on our way to do the Megan Fox M sculpting right now. I'm super stressed because I overslept, but we are on our way. Okay, I'm here. So she's attaching the M sculpt to me right now. I was supposed to do my abs, but I couldn't do that because of the copper spiral I have. So we decided to go for the second best and just try my butt. So what it's gonna do is create an electromagnetic field called high intensity focused electromagnetic technology. So it's gonna make my muscle pulse and it's gonna be equal to 20,000 squats. How is this real? <laughs> I'm about to do 20,000 squats. Oh, it does remind me of how the things from TV shop when you were little that you got felt like. My butt is moving. <laughs> it's flexing. My it's moving, but I can't help it moving. <laughs> Quote, it's a really great machine, Megan Fox. <laughs> It feels like a, a, a lot of needles, kind of, but not sharp needles, just like brrr. Guys, I paid 4,900. I'm gonna do another treatment later, not for this video, but I paid for, for this treatment and for the follow-ups, I paid 3,000 euros, dollars for just the sculpting thing and for all the sessions, the eight sessions. But, but, what? <laughs> but it, the, like, benefits the benefits will are be awesome. I can't feel anything. Like if it actually will work, I don't know. I doubt I can show a lot of what happened, but um, I don't know. It didn't hurt that bad. I was expecting going like, <gasps> Mega Fox, think about Mega Fox, Mega Fox, but it wasn't that bad. Like I do it again, easy especially if I'm gonna see results. I didn't feel anything after this was done. It's also supposed to clap out your lactic acid, so you're not supposed to have any after soreness. Only time will tell about this one, but I'm very skeptical. So tell me, um, can you tell us a little bit about lymphatic drainage? How does my hair look? No one's supposed to see the backside of the hair. 
So today is a big day because today is the last day of treatment and we have three coming up today and the first one is LPG. So I'm gonna be putting on like this big sock right now. It's over. Here I am once again lying on the table fuck off anyways this is what the machine looks like there's a roller there's a massager and then it's also gonna be a suction <laughs> we're gonna go over my full body except boobies because we don't want them to grow smaller <laughs> so what lpg does is keeps all the fluid in the body moving so this treatment we mainly got from a celebrity that is known in sweden called bianca ingrosso and she's known to do lpg so i've been so wanting to try this since i saw her do it so it feels like a little cold and then it's like a massage so what does lpg do it removes swelling and inflammation this is based off the lymph nodes in your body this is something you can do yourself with fingers in your face for example but this is the most effective way to do it all over your body it works in the inner layers of the skin right before the muscles it will slim the body down because it helps break up fat cells so all celebrities do this before performances photo shoots music videos it should also help me with my cellulite so like the other treatments since we're working with like the body naturally this is also a treatment that you do multiple times so this you would do once or twice a week for a couple of weeks and then just once a week and you'll like go down but see the results still even though you don't do it as often anymore so we'll see if i can even see any results now but it, it feels really nice I'm just changing, but we're done and we have to run to our next appointment for my second treatment of the under eye bags and the oxydermal shit, whatever it's called. We're rushing again, but I forgot to tell you that I actually think it works. I got a lot of compliments after I did this that they saw a difference like on my eyes and I did too. So this is the second round. Second round of this hurt way more. I don't know why, but luckily I didn't have any swelling underneath my eyes from this second round. Thank God. It feels tight. Oh, not. Ow. But this actually hurt a bit. Okay. <laughs> so what step do we have left? Well, obviously, we need the Hollywood smile. This is the treatment that people like Simon Cowell has done. I do think he's got veneers though. I'm gonna whiten mine because I'm a pussy and I don't wanna fuck up my teeth. Can you guys believe this is what you look like when you get veneers? But I got myself some really good teeth whitening products. I also got my teeth molded. That's me. So doing this hurts. So I'm just gonna do it for about an hour and a half because I don't want super white Hollywood teeth. I just want a little whiter to look a little fresher. I'm just gonna put that stuff in each of these teeth. First one is in. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's wait an hour and a half and see the results. I just want to take it out so loudly now. I've had it in for like two hours. Ugh. Is it white? Okay, paper test. Let's see if it's, there's a difference on the before and afters. I see that there's a little change. We all know vitamins are important for our health, but what about injecting them into our veins? Justin Bieber was recently pictured leaving a medical building with his arm bandaged after reportedly getting an IV vitamin drip. Okay guys, we're here. I'm getting the Myers cocktail. I have it in my arm. I felt like uh, it was better not to show you that, but here is my little IV bag. It's one liter of fluid that is gonna go into my body. And apparently this is what Brad Pitt, Harry Styles, Madonna does. Uh, the thing that's gonna make it the Madonna treatment is that we're gonna do a B12 injection. So it's gonna be like an extra boost. Uh, this is also common when you're hungover in America. I've seen Kendall Jenner do this. As more comes in, I'm feeling a little bit more rejuvenated, but we're hoping to see my mood increase because I was really, really tired before I did this. So there's supposed to be tons of vitamins and minerals in this um, things that you're supposed to have in your body that you don't always get in you 
energy, skin, metabolism, immune system, focus and stress. I am very stressed about putting this in my arm, let me tell ya. I almost fainted when we put it in. It's been like five minutes. Let's check back in in 30, 40 when it's done and ready. Right now, I feel like I would never do this again. This is not my thing at all. I am scared of this thing in my arm. I want to go home. 10 minutes left. I am really cold in my arm. Yeah, I'm not tired at all anymore. I don't want to do the shot. I really, really, I really, really don't want to do another shot. And it's just a little shot though. And you can decide How? when you see the shot. <laughs> How do they do this? Like two times a week? We'll see about this. Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. The shot was on my butt cheek. It wasn't anywhere else. It's, I don't know how to say it in English, but it wasn't in somewhere. It was just on my ass. Oh my. Yeah. Okay, I'm, it's, it's in the butt. I didn't know. <laughs> I feel so stupid. But I actually feel really good after that. The, the vitamin thing. I'm just a little scared of needles. But I don't want to admit it. So everybody knows what's going on with her? Oh, the isn't that fuck it. Okay, I didn't even feel it. Ooh. Okay, I felt something go in. It was uncomfortable, but it was quick. I'm home from all the treatments and I started hearing like a crackling sound. I have no idea if that got caught on the camera mic, but oh my God. I think it's from the eye thing that the air or like the carbon dioxide is up here. I feel I actually feel great after the IV. I don't feel like I want to go to bed or anything Which I wanted to before I did that. I feel so well rested Okay, so we're doing a last-minute treatment with the cryo mask that I know so many celebrities do So I'm gonna be wearing that this was really last minute, but uh, it's okay with makeup. So let's do it this looks like the man in the iron mask. Because of the nurses didn't know what would happen with my carboxy, we decided to book my appointment for the next day. So this is the day after. Doing this can help you lift, define, and sculpt the appearance of your skin for a firmer, plumper, refreshed looking complexion. How about that? Am I red? Okay, it felt like getting a mist and like watery fumes and like windy and it was so noisy. Man, I don't, I, I can't even see myself. I don't know if there's any change, but um, that was, I, I'd do that again. I kind of liked it. <laughs> that was the last treatment. Let's go home and review. Wow, what a journey I've been through. But to summarize this crazy journey, what did I think? To start off everything we've done in this video, try to make the body as it already is, but better and try and make the body work. I've even been to consultations about doing cool sculpting and by removing fat and making you pee it out. Sounded way too scary for me though, so I skipped that. But is it worth all the time and is it worth all the money? Time? Hell no. Who has time to go do this every day? For me to go outside and do an appointment, that's my whole day planned for me. Getting two at once, that was kind of a lot, a little scary. Most of these procedures that I've gone through are procedures that you do six to seven of them, and then you upkeep it once every half a year. So you don't have to do it as often as I actually did it, and you don't have to pay as much as I actually paid, because I paid for all the procedures at once. That's why some of them were really expensive. This is the total number that I spent on all the procedures to look like this, basically what I... <laughs> I haven't calculated it yet, but it should be around somewhere of six to seven thousand dollars. The one thing I can say is that I love my hair. 
I'm driving myself mad because I'm not being clear enough about my opinion. Hair extensions, I loved it. I've never felt this confident in a long time. Laser removal, I'm still healing my lip, but I love that as well. Didn't hurt, but the healing time is pretty long. Carboxy under my eyes. This treatment I will not be doing again. I am, after rewatching the video, I see that I look more tired from doing the carboxy, so I would not be doing that again. There are many alternative treatments to treat your under eye bags, and I don't feel like this was the treatment for me. It does work on my legs, but not under my eyes. Vampire treatment slash microneedling. I would maybe do this again. I don't think it was that expensive. I do see a glow on that after video video that I took, but I didn't really notice any difference, but I do feel like I already have good skin. Nutritionist. I've realized now, like today, that during this diet thing, I've been so tired because I haven't had time to eat everything I'm supposed to eat, so I've been under eating. Maybe a go for me, I just have to correct the diet so it actually works for my lifestyle. M-Sculpt. Now, this is the one I'm the most skeptic about because I don't feel anything after doing it. I'm not supposed to feel anything after doing it, but it also is so weird to trust that something's gonna happen. I wish I could do it on my tummy so bad because I would see results so quickly. But something I haven't mentioned throughout the video is that I have so much trust in these people who do these uh, procedures and treatments. I feel like it's just different in Sweden. I just trust them so much. I don't think they're, they don't do stuff that they don't believe in. The girl who treated me for M sculpting really thought that that was one of the best things that they had to offer. So I really wanna wait out and see how this goes after eight treatments. LPG. There's just something in me after seeing everybody doing it. I feel like it's gonna change. So I just wanna keep on doing the treatments as well. But I actually did not see any change after doing it, which I know a lot of people actually do see change straight after the treatment, but I didn't. It was kind of very expensive from what I was expecting, but I think that the clinic I went to was like a little bit more of a top-notch clinic. So I'm excited to do all the rest of my treatments. Vitamin IV! The cocktail! Okay, I hated that. My arm almost f fell off when we put in the needle. I'm so happy, or may maybe not happy that I didn't record that, but that sucked. That being said, I kinda wanna do it again, but I didn't feel that much of a difference. Given I didn't do my diet correctly, I thought I would have more of an effect by the IV, but I don't think I did. Teeth whitening. Loved it. I had a great experience doing everything. I think I need to do another one. And the last treatment, the cryo mask. Meh. I didn't really notice anything. It only took two minutes and they like froze my face, but I didn't feel that. But since it was so quick and easy and cheap, I guess I would do it again. But since I didn't see anything, I don't know. I don't have issues with redness and stuff, so it's unfair for me to judge that procedure treatment thing. But for me, I don't think it's very necessary to do that was what I thought of every single one of them. If I could recommend one, it would be doing your hair. <laughs> or I actually think I would recommend LPG. I just feel like it really works. And if it's something I wouldn't recommend, it would be the carboxy under the eyes. For cellulite, awesome, but I don't think under eyes. It wouldn't be my recommendation. I was a little cheeky and I got a little lip filler in the middle of this video. So if you've seen that, yes, it's true. I love it. I don't know why I felt that it was irrelevant to this video, but I thought it was. I feel like it would be worth the money if you have as much money as Kim K and they come to your house and you do this. If I feel like I start seeing more results, yeah, maybe. I'm still gonna finish the treatments that I paid for. And after that, I might feel differently. But I think it's time for me to show you some befores and afters but let's keep in mind that all of these things weren't weren't completed i feel like i want to be a little bit more careful with my body after this experience i feel like i it was rushed to do all these things at once i don't think you get the ultimate results if you do everything at once either take it easy i feel like i realized the best way to just take care of yourself and look good is just to work out and eat well hoping i look a little healthier now we've tried to live like Brad Pitt, Kim K, Harry Styles, Madonna, all of them and try out what they go through in their lives to look good and feel good. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I love you so much. Bye.